And we're back after a year. Awesome. Probably more than a year. Yeah, yeah it's been close. <clears throat> I think January was our last Corona, or not January. No, maybe January. January or December 2013 or January 2014. It's been so long I can't remember the right buttons to push. Okay, there he goes. That's what the people pay us for. Yes. I don't remember which button is the examine button, and I don't remember where to go either. Off to a ripping good start. Right? Okay, I hope this is not backwards. Uh, I think that's backwards. I'm pretty sure it was up and to the left was progression. So you, you dump down that waterfall to get something, rounded back up again, fought the ninja chickens. That's not the button. <clears throat> Yeah, dual technique. Were we on active battle system or turn based? I think it's active. Well, yeah. As active as traditional RPGs get. We'd started out on turn based because I was initially playing and I'm a slow chump like that, but I think you did switch it to active around episode 13 or something like that. I could have swear once they get. Yeah. Once they get close, they can... I like how it's kind of area of effect in this game. <laughs> I love his little... Looks like he's trying to poop with his mouth open. Yes! Don't, don't you poop with your mouth open? Uh, I have no idea. I, I think I'm going to have to re, like record myself to see how I poop. We're back to the whole mirror in the bathroom thing, watching yourself take a wave. Shut up, get <clears throat> lost. Play freelancer. That's great. Is that a video game? Uh, yeah, it was a, a kind of an arcade space sim. Maybe it was around two thousand three. I want to say Microsoft Studios. <laughs> Is it like Halo? Oh, wrong button again. What about an arcade space shooter sim? Reminding you of Halo. Pretty much everything. And plus, just actually, probably just one Microsoft part. That I could see. <laughs> Look at that ambiance of the. Uh background with the, the the cloudy foggy vista I'm too distracted by their dingling attacks my dingling won't you please touch Stop my dingling <laughs> how does that song go you pretty much had it he's a piano player guy isn't it yeah. <clears throat> Mountains are nice. This is life. Mountains are nice. Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. I hope it's a slap. A magic tab. You know, the thing that always kind of fascinated me about old school JRPGs is how you're just like non-stop getting assaulted all the time when you're out in the world, but yet you'll encounter lone NPC villagers like picnicking and stuff. And it's like, wait a minute, I fought my way through like 
hordes of oozes and rock monsters to get up the side of this mountain. Here you are, unarmed. You got a picnic basket. How did you get out here? I know. It just means that he's probably a complete badass and we shouldn't mess around with him. I mean, that is definitely one takeaway. The other is that there's some sort of mysterious monster attracting force attached to anyone in a hero role. Like, I smell heroics. Let's go eat him. Ugh. Should I go over one of these? Probably the 715. Could use the third slot. I may be talking crazy here, but an empty slot. <laughs> yeah, now, I remember when they used to have like three or maybe four slots, and rather than an infinite amount of saves. When I was playing Final Fantasy 13, I didn't realize I was pressing, because I was just, you know, save, save, try to get through it. I was doing a new file every single time, and I had like 26 saves before I noticed it. Tadas and the frog. Frog Tadas. Who doesn't love frog tatas? <laughs> Look at those cast shadows on the ground. It's, it's like a real forest. It's very Link to the Past-esque. being hurt by that? Yes. That's pretty crappy. Well, if I was using the run button properly, it wouldn't be such an issue. Is that counting? Yeah. He's got a rage band on. It's 50%. Right, the rage band. <clears throat> I wonder it doesn't look active right now. Oh, I see. It's maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, the bars have been filling up at a steady rate. I don't know if that means anything. Well there has been some movement amongst the enemies in the previous battles. I like it when it uh, you can choose your... I want it to be active except for when you're looking at your menu, basically. Like, not... not. I want it to be active here, but I want it to not be active when I'm trying to get to something. Right. Because usually I know what I'm looking for. It just takes a little bit to get there. Well, and that's what I liked about the uh, BioWare system. Of just being able to pause whenever... So, it's active, but you can stop it at any time to issue commands. Ugh, boss battle. It looks like a little kid to me. It, it is a little kid. Go kill him. I think if I go down here, I have to do everything again. Probably. It's actually <clears throat> two little kids. I'm the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> They've been watching MASH. I think this is my... Maybe this is not the very beginning of my fascination with the sword and the stone, but this I remember this really uh, kind of uh, hit that hit that spot. Why, yes, I am here for the Masamuni. Wait a second, okay? Oh, big brother, where are you, Masa? It's just such racist. What is it, Mune? Not again. So you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masa Mune? What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. What should we do? 
usual test them you can entertain us for a while all right here we go whoosh